Hello and welcome to this current conditions update. Just updating on the current conditions outside right now because if you're in New Jersey right now, if you're in Tom's River, it's 100 degrees in Tom's River right now. Um, so, yeah, we've got 100 degrees at Miller Air Park there. Dew, dew point is 74. So it feels like 112. Uh, yeah, that's the hot, one of the hottest spots around right now. That's why you got that excessive heat warning in New Jersey. So temperatures near... It looks like we got 101 in uh, Mercerville, so Jersey is just really unbearably hot right now. Uh, going over, uh, working your way into New York City, we got mid-90s, 93 at LaGuardia. We do have a south-southeast wind, though, at 17, gusting to 22, so that's good. Uh, and that's going to help bring the temperatures down a little bit on the south shore, but Kennedy's still 89, the dew point is 73. Um... And then working your way across Long Island, we got mid 90s, uh, well, more like low 90s, I guess. 90 at Farmingdale Airport, uh, south wind at 16, gusting to 25. That's good to see a south wind, so that'll hopefully bring some relief later, especially if you're on the south shore. And if you're right at the beach, it's 81. Uh, so uh, going out to uh, um, Islip, 90 degrees. Uh, at Islip, uh, despite Samantha what Jerry saying it wasn't going to hit 90 today because she's lousy, uh, it sure enough did. Uh, south southwest wind at 16 gusting to 21 miles an hour at Islip. So the, the south wind is going to help bring some relief to the, sea, the south shore today and the east end as well. Uh, still 90 even at Gabreski Airport, but still pretty hot out there. But later on this evening, it should help a little bit. Heat advisory, of course, in effect for our area. That stays in effect, uh, as well as an air quality alert. Uh, and that heat advisory is now through 9 p.m. on Wednesday. Uh, and uh, the heat excessive heat warning remains in effect until 8 p.m. on Wednesday for much of New Jersey. Uh, so, yeah, very, very unbelievably brutal out there in Jersey. Uh, you know, kind of tells the story. You go to Wonder Map here. Uh, you'll see the deal again that it's much, much hotter in Jersey. Uh, really hot. You can see these 100 degree readings, especially around Tom's River and in Tira and Monmouth County. Uh, really, really hot over there. However, if you're right on the beach, 70 s Island Beach is uh, 76 degrees. So, right on the beach, you got a little bit of a decent breeze there, but you got to be right on the beach to feel anything. Uh, same thing for Long Island, too, but not quite to the same extreme inland. But it's still hot out there. Uh, you're at Long Beach right now, 83 degrees there. So, yeah, it's it's definitely very hot. We'll just do a check of the radar here. Um, not a whole lot going on right now uh, over, over our area. But uh, let's go and take a look at the wider view of the radar because I think we do have some severe thunderstorms. Yeah, this is what's left of that uh the ratio system that was really bringing incredible lightning it looks like it's going to miss our area though it's going way to the north but if you're in western new york right now oswego uh you're dealing with some pretty bad weather in fact i think there might be a tornado warning over there so let's uh, just check that out for a moment um uh, yes there is there is a tornado warning north of syracuse right now so we'll take a look at this radar here and you can see actually we got a couple of tornado warnings here um uh, we'll just go to the enhanced radar High resolution. So we got a couple of tornado warnings here. Yeah, we've got uh, two tornado warnings actually. One around Syracuse, uh, and then another one. Um, so we've got another tornado warning here. If I click on it, it doesn't really say uh, when it and when it expires. But we got a tornado warning around Watertown and Syracuse right now, and a numerous severe thunderstorm warnings with this line. The storms are still really bad. We can look and see how much lightning they're producing as well. It looks like they are still going nuts. Yeah, look at this. If you're north of Syracuse right now, oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, that is a ton of lightning. So this is storm is producing a lot of lightning. I mean, this is like a derate show because it's it's just continuing. Uh, this came all the way from uh, Illinois, um, and it's still going into western New York right now. North of Syracuse, absolutely getting pounded with lightning right now. This is an incredible storm. Uh, and... Uh, that's that's a lot of lightning right there. That's a lot of lightning. Uh, a real a lot of lightning. Let's just go back to the weather and hazards map for a moment. I just want to take a look at some observations in that area. You can see the two tornado warnings that we have up for um, upstate New York and uh, well, western New York. Um, let's just go to uh, 
see if we can get some observations from some of these storms and see if they're producing any strong wind gusts. I don't see any strong wind gusts being reported here. Uh, there's one at 37, at least with this storm. I don't see anything. Uh, but there you go. Tornado warning. Uh, we'll read it out for you. Tornado warning is for Syracuse. We're just north of Syracuse. And then we have another one around Watertown as well uh, with the storm over here. So tornado warning uh, is in effect for this area. Uh, so that is uh, what we've got going on right now. And also larger uh, severe thunderstorm watch also for a much of uh, upstate New York uh, from the capital region up north to Plattsburgh and we into western New York. Uh, and parts of Vermont too as well involved in this uh, severe thunderstorm watch as well. Uh, if we go to the Storm Prediction Center, you'll see that slight risk is now actually covering New Jersey. So they expanded it, I think. Let's go and look at the, uh, I don't know if we can get a closer up view here, uh, but we do have that slight risk now involved in New Jersey. In fact, it looks like it's part of our area now as well. Uh, so uh, they seem to think that uh, we have a slight risk for some severe thunderstorms. So let's see. Here we go uh, on the map. Yep, We are in a number two now for, uh, it looks like, um, Nassau County, Western Suffolk. Um, yeah, we are at a number two here. So uh, there you go. I'll try to make this a little bit bigger if you want to see this here. Let's see if we can do that. But there you go. Number two for uh, our area. So slight risk for severe weather. So uh, we're going to have to go look at the models here and take a look and see what we got going on. I'm sure the cape is through the roof. Let's go and look at that. Thunderstorm threat. Oh, yeah. we got some good capes, especially over Jersey. Yeah. So uh, let's go look at Tropical Tidbits. And we'll just go and see what the latest models have as far as what they plan to do with these thunderstorms if they do intend on getting us or not. Because you know I may be back later tonight, depending on what happens with the weather. Uh, so you can see uh, there's that derecho line, mainly sticking to upstate, but look at what happens on the tail end of it tonight. So right, right around 8, 9 o'clock, we start seeing some storms break out over us. It doesn't show anything too severe popping up, but this is the time. If something's going to happen, it's going to be 8, 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, that we'll see this uh, tail end of this uh, disturbance, or really, it's uh, it's really a, it's almost like it's got a little low pressure here. It's a little like disturbance, uh, a little impulse of energy that's running over the top of this ridge here that we have uh, that's uh, causing this. So I'll just go to the NAM, and we'll just run through the NAM and see if the NAM is doing. Now the NAM is bringing it down a little more, but then it has it fizzle. So. Um, we will have to see what happens. Yeah, it has a fizzle, the NAM does. Uh, but I think the models maybe, oh, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're overestimating the marine influence. In this. Oh, we've seen this before where the storms hold together for longer. Let's just look at the HDRPS. Whoa, look at that. Man. So, yeah, we're going to have a massive severe weather event across New York State today as well. Um, let's uh, just go to the poweroutage.us map and see what kind of damage this is already causing and you can see already and we've still a lot of outages in Illinois too from yesterday's severe weather Texas still dealing with the effects of Beryl uh, a large outage a lot of outages in Florida too believe it or not uh, but let's look at New York uh, and you can see uh, this is from yesterday uh, still a lot of people lost power from yesterday's storms and now a whole bunch more are going to lose it today so uh, that's going to wrap this weather alert up uh, again, 100, uh, very hot, humid day today, and we also have to watch out for severe thunderstorms this evening.